grew up on the countryside of time. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be working on my triple clamps. I'm gonna be trying to uh, polish them up. Yeah, before we get to that, y'all check out the the Chosen Allegiance ATV and Motocross uh, Facebook group. Uh, I'm gonna link it down in the description. Y'all go join the group or whatever. And also join my Discord where we're gonna be playing uh, MX bikes and stuff. Yeah, but today I'm gonna be working on these triple clamps. Um, I got them cleaned up fairly, fairly good. Um, you know, they were kind of dirty before. But what I'm trying to get is, you see how we have this, this rough casting surface right here? And then on the front, you see where I, uh, I kind of worked on it a little bit. And it's smooth. I can get it smoother than this, but I just wanted to see if I could do it with just sandpaper. Um, so today I'm going to be cleaning this up. I'm going to be polishing this. Uh, I don't want it to be super, super shiny. I'm going to get it super shiny, but then I'm going to hit it with some Scotch Bright just to have it not be so shiny. But what I'm really looking for is like a... I want this cast to look more like billet. I know it's not going to look like it, you know, completely. But I can get it looking better than uh, what it does now. Yeah, but y'all see how rough this casting is. Let me get close. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Goddamn. Yeah, man. Now, the bottom clamps, they actually don't look bad. You just got that ugly casting mark. Uh, and I actually left my damn Dremel at the house. I'm going to have to do this, finish the bottom part another day. But the top should be fairly easy. I'm basically going to start off with 180 grit sandpaper. I'm going to start off with this 180 grit. Yeah, yeah, see that's 180 grit. And I got a few of those. And then I'm going to jump up to probably like two or three hundred. And I'm actually, I'm going to take this up. Uh, I'm going to put some tape over this because I don't want to damage that. Uh, I want to keep that clean. All right, put a little tape on my pretty little Honda plastic thingy thing, whatever that shit is. Now, all I'm gonna do is catch every surface with this uh, 180 grit, and then I'm gonna hit it with 320. You see this is rough? It's rough right now, but it's still smoother than, you know, the cast, the original, you know, rough cast. So, once I hit it with the 180, it's gonna all look like this. And then I'm gonna come back and hit it with 320. And then maybe go up to like 400, 500, 600, whatever. I'm just scrubbing, y'all. I don't wanna complicate this. That's all I'm gonna do, do it by hand. I'm sure you could do it with like a, uh, what they call it, uh, a bench grinder with like a, on Scott's Bright, like I see Cameron do a lot, uh, but I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna use what I got to get what I want. But that's that's basically all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that throughout the whole thing, and I'm gonna come back. It's a small progress. You still see a few pits in there, so I'm gonna have to keep hitting it. I had to give me a little shake, man, from the house. Uh, this is strawberries, mangoes, uh, grapefruit and bananas, a lot of bananas. I'm trying to uh, clean up my diet or whatever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get rid of meat, but it, it's hard, man. I still eat chicken and shrimp and stuff. But anyway, um, I had to go get some more sandpaper. I got some 320 and 400. Okay, fellas, I got the hardest part done. Uh, and that's the the rough sanding of the top clamp. Um, let me see. It ain't perfect. Uh, on this spot, I left a lot of pit and steel. I started, I ran out of 180 grit sandpaper. And I'll, that's the lowest I got. And I, that's what I need to cut through this to get low in this pitting. 
but uh, it's good anyway. This is the most important part on the side here and here because that's what you're going to see when it's on the bike. Most of this is going to be covered up by the number plate. Uh, you'll see the top too a little bit, but and I'm also going to be going with a handlebar with no crossbar. So it has that bigger pad. So it's going to cover up a lot of the top of this too. So you won't even see most of this. But now that I hit it with the, the 180, I'm going to go ahead and get this 320. And uh, I'm going to start shining it up. Now that I finished with the 320, I'm about to wet sand it with 400 and I could just keep taking it up um, but I think I'm gonna stop at 400 because I don't really want it to be shiny I'll get to work kind of hard to get it without that damn glare but it's looking a whole lot better um, I said that I wouldn't go any higher but I think I have a, a pad that's the equivalent of 860 um, I think I'm gonna try that and this is what it looked like when I finished Man, I think it looked amazing. Ten times better than it did before. Uh, you see, I put a little crack in the, the Honda symbol right there. But other than that, it came out great. I think I just think this look amazing, man. Brushed aluminum. I'll take brushed aluminum over polished any day. And it looked ten times better than the cast, so... As you can see, that's what the cast looked like before. That's what it looked like now. Now let's get to the, the fun part, using the Dremel to remove these casting lines off the bottom clamp. I'm going to try this one first um, and see how it can work out. Probably should have to last. See, it is working, um, but I'm gonna have to tighten this up and start over. That was working out, um, as you can see, it was going well, but uh, the tip flew off of my Dremel because the speed got stuck on Max somehow, I don't know how. Yeah, I can't find that Dremel bit, so I'm going to stop here, but uh, it won't be a stop in the video. I'm going to just stop for today. But this is what happened when I just hit it with some 320 after uh, I sanded it with the Dremel. You see it's starting to clean up a good bit, but I think I'm going to end up having to go to 180. So I'm going to have to go get some more 180 sandpaper because it ain't cleaning up them scratches good enough with just the 320. I just want want y'all to get a good look of how the bike looks now uh, with all the dirt and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and scrub it up, clean it up real good. I know this ain't what y'all clicked on if you're not a subscriber, but this is what you get. All right, fellas, we back. I got a few things. I went and got some 120 grit sandpaper uh, to replace that 180. Um, I think this will work better for uh, what I'm about to do with the bottom clamp since I got to use these bits right here. Man, these bits were six. This shit was sixty dollars. Fuck. Man. Yeah, this shit was sixty dollars at Harbor Freight, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I got these. I'm gonna need these for a future project on the Caprice as well. So um, I ain't too upset about the price. But this was like three dollars each. Um, and then I also bought a die grinder. Uh, I'm gonna need that as well because 
The one that I have, I can't remember what collet size it is, but the collets on that is too small for these bits right here. Damn, this focus. There, uh, uh, there it is. The collets are too small for these bits right here. So I had to go and get a quarter inch, uh, a die grinder with a quarter inch collet. This is what it looked like after using the die grinder. Alright now, the danger in using a die grinder um, versus a file, well it's, it's a danger with a file too, but it's, it's worse with a die grinder because it removes so much so fast um, that if you go too deep, uh, once you finish sanding, uh, there might be like a divot in the triple clamps. Um, I see a few spots where I went uh, uh, kind of deep, but I knew that was a risk using the die grinder anyway. It's like that spot right there. Uh, it may clean up when I sand it, but it may not. So that's a danger that I have to, uh, that I took by using the die grinder. But anyway, I'm gonna hit this with this 120 grit uh, sandpaper. And this here is, is exactly what I meant. You see how that looks? Um, I think I can get I think I can get this by sanding it down a little further. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know, it's a few spots over here that might be the same way. I think I, I left a little more on this side. Right there, that may be a problem. That, that may be a problem too, but I, I know I can sand that out. So if you're gonna use a die grinder, be very careful. If you use a file, be careful as well. Uh, I would use a rounded file if you could, or maybe like a, a bevel file. I wouldn't use a square edge file, um, but yeah, this is something that you might have to deal with, so be careful. I said that a million times. I hope that, you know, emphasize it enough for you. And here we go. I see I sanded it pretty good. It's only one, I think it's two spots. This little spot here, and that little spot there is actually three. One, two, three. But, uh... As you get to the finer sandpaper, those blemishes are going to stick out a little more and more. But uh, that's something I'm going to have to live with because I don't want to keep sanding any further than that. But it looked good so far. Now I just got to get to this side. Okay, and this is after sanding with the 120 grit. And this here is 240 grit. Now that I'm moving on to 320 grit, I'm gonna use this uh, wet, wet or dry sandpaper, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wet sand it. This is supposed to be the equivalent of 860 or 820 grit. I can't remember which one. 800 something. This is supposed to be the equivalent of. Um, the last one I did was 400, so I skipped all the way from. Yeah, I skipped all the way from 400 to 800. Um, if I had 600, I probably would have used it, but uh, judging by the way it's coming out, uh, I wouldn't even, I don't even really need it. And this is gonna be my final step right here. 120, 240, 400, oh shit. There you go. 120, 240, 320, 400, and then I skipped all the way to 800. You don't necessarily have to do it uh, in this exact order as long as you're stepping up uh, in you know the fineness of your sandpaper or whatever you're using. Shit, and there it is, fellas. Zoom out. It's the finished product, man. Me, I love this look. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. Uh, let me see if I can bring this into the light. There you go. See? That polished look. It's polished, but it's brushed. 
Well, I'm going to say brush instead of polish. But if you wanted to, of course, you could polish it and shine it up real, real good. The back, I could have spent more time in the back of it, but I'm satisfied with what I got. Look at that. That's beautiful. Ready to throw these things back on the bike. The next video, I'm going to be working on the forks and maybe uh, taking apart the wheels. I might take apart the wheels and uh, get new spokes. Or I might, I might keep those spokes if they come off good. Uh, but I'm going to do the wheels, forks, new tires, then we're going to be riding. Peace.